fault finding on a twin cylinder Stuart 5A steam engine. This is a pair of Stuart 5A steam engines coupled together as one unit and they make a knocking noise when running. In this video I will try to find out what is causing this. Most of my life so far seems to have been spent by finding out what's wrong with things. I think that also applies to my two ex-wives but I won't go into that. I left school at 16 and became a musician and learning to play piano and organ took a bit of figuring out. But three years later and five piano exams under my belt I had some idea how to do it. But never mind that, what about this problem? This is a pair of Stuart 5A steam engines mounted together with a coupling in between them. And you may be thinking, well, what's wrong with this? It sounds OK and it's running well. That's the problem. It does sound OK and runs well for a short while, then it starts to knock. The longer I run the engine and the louder the knocking gets. Normally I would never run an engine before oiling it. And as you've just seen, I have oiled it now, that's why it's noisy. But it didn't sound too bad before I oiled it. So what's going on? Here's a replay. The engine runs quite well and it's very powerful. But after thoroughly oiling all of the moving parts, it starts to knock. This Twin 5A is not the commercial item. A Twin 5A is normally called a swan, I think. But whoever built this really knew what they were doing, and the attention to detail is great, including this oil tank in between the cylinders. This tank supplies oil to the crossheads and to the main bearings, and it uses a wick feed system. The engineering standard on this entire engine is extremely high, and was obviously built by a very talented and experienced model engineer. Apart from the large oil tank between the cylinders, there are also a pair of mechanical lubricators mounted on each cylinder. These lubricators have inbuilt oil pumps that are driven by a ratchet system, which initially didn't seem to work until I lubricated the ratchet. Here's a closer view of the one at the other end. The ratchets are very fine, and the two poles that move the ratchet need to be lubricated so that they put even pressure on the ratchet itself. The crankshafts of each engine are connected together using this chain system in the centre. The system is simplicity itself. It uses a pair of sprockets fitted with a double link chain. As you can see, there is some play between the two engines, and initially this is what I think is causing the problem. This twin sprocket unit with the chain is quite old, and originally it was enclosed inside a baker-like cover, which in turn was completely full of grease. But that looked so bad and it was cracked, I removed it. But it still didn't make any difference. The knocking of the engine was there before I removed the Bakelite cover. What I'm currently doing is removing all the grease and grime using a toothbrush dipped in cellulose thinners or lacquer thinner to dissolve the grease. And after a short while, the whole unit is looking a bit cleaner. Problem number one, how do I remove the play between the two engines? I'll run the engine for a while and sit and think about this. While the engine's running, I'm using my toothbrush dipped in the cellulose thinners to remove even more of the grime. And after a while, this part is starting to look very clean. As I started to mention at the beginning of this video, most of my life has been spent problem solving. I used to be involved with a friend of mine buying, selling and repairing Hammond organs, and I did the repairing. There was plenty of problem solving in that job. Later on, I opened a recording studio, which is still running quite well to this day. My recording studio used a pair of 2-inch 24-track recorders, right up to the year 2000, when I changed over to a digital system. And back in the day of mechanical 2-inch tape recorders, there were quite a few problems that needed my constant attention. I needed to align the machines regularly. The tape sometimes was not good. These machines were in constant use every day and I had to make tape guides for them from time to time on my lathe. 
When I think back to those days, sometimes I shudder because the biggest problem was making customers without any talent sound like they had some. The more I run this engine, the worse the knocking's getting. Here I'm checking that the two grub screws that hold the unit onto the crankshafts are tight. If they weren't tight before, they are now. When I rotate the crankshaft of each engine manually in different directions, you can clearly see how much play there is in this unit. The knocking gets worse and worse the longer I run the engine. Suddenly I had a brainwave. Why not put a couple of cable ties around the chain to hold it securely in position against the sprockets? I was going to use silicone rubber, but that would have been messy. This is an instant fix. If it doesn't stop the knocking, it will take the coupling out of the equation, because now the coupling is very solidly mounted. Let's see what happens. Well, that was a waste of time. There's no difference. I'll try some slow motion. This slow motion sequence and the previous slow motion sequence I think is telling me what the problem is. I wonder if anyone watching this sequence can see what I'm seeing. I think it's time to give this engine a bit of serious attention. I have a good idea now what the problem is and I will try and rectify it in the next episode of this short series. For 12 years of my life I became a professional computer engineer. That was a difficult job. It was problem solving taken to the next level. You fix something, it seems to be working perfectly, but it isn't. The experience that I gained working with computers on a software and hardware level has really been useful. Recently, I had a problem in the studio which drove me mad for about a week, but I figured it out and now it's fine. So I'm sure I can fix this very simple steam engine problem. And after I finish this voiceover and upload the video, I'll be straight into the workshop to see if my idea works. That's it for now. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe and stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.